So hello, my name is Coco, but more famously known as Joma Intern. For context, I am currently interning for this YouTuber called Joma Tech. He has 1.8 million followers on his main YouTube channel, and his niche is mainly people who can code and has a Y chromosome. But my main role is to help him run his vlogging channel called Joma in NYC, where the content is a lot more lighthearted. And since I am a part-time intern, I will only be working three days a week, which is Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays. And and let's get started with the video. Today is an editing day, which means... Yeah, so basically that's why I'm in my casual little t-shirt, no makeup, wearing my little backpack. I'm ready to head out. I'm gonna take out some fresh with me though. Hashtag independent woman. Miss Independent Woman was extremely bored on her way to work. Um, I have to commute to work every single day and the train ride is about 25 to 30 minutes. And since there's no signal on the New York subway, all I can do is just contemplate life. Alrighty, so on Tuesday, I was given the task of handling the sponsorship segment of our upcoming vlog. This is my second time creating sponsored content for this channel, but the first time, the collaboration was with like an application, like a phone app, so it was so much easier to film and edit. But this time, we have a real product and we actually have a robot cleaner vacuum mopping situation going on so it was a lot of work we have to unbox and learn how to use it you might wait 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 don't dude i don't want them to have double sponsor if they're not paying you for this no no i'll blur it out i'm gonna highlight something from the dog so i know which part so I first start off by editing the raw footage of the speaking part of this sponsorship. And just like how I edit every single raw video, this process is just very fucking tedious because I have to go back and rewatch so many bits on repeat to find the perfect clip and to make everything clean cut. But I do this before I shoot any b-rolls just so I know exactly what to shoot and what bits to insert which clips. It actually, it actually, mm -hmm. huh? it's rotating, mm -hmm. whatever, bro. Good enough. Whatever, bro. Then you said, Don't you be afraid. Yo, that's not Chinese accent. Is that Chinese accent? It's not, it's not. You know how when you get stuff in, in China, it's like Bluetooth connected. Oh, really? Module before mapping. Even though I've made YouTube videos in the past and I've also created a lot of other commercial related video for people, I actually don't have that much experience handling a camera. Most of the time I'm in charge of doing post-production stuff, which is why during this internship I actually learned a lot about handling a legit film camera and using the settings and angles and all that stuff. So that has been really, really fun for me. Honestly, I just love learning things. Oh god. It's coming for you. No, it can't. It knows that this is a carpet. Ah, smart. Oh, there's too much crap on your floor. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh, she picked up something. Yeah. Yo, this is so cute. I don't know why, but Operating this robot vacuum cleaner is like taking care of a kid or like a dog. It was just like so difficult and I was screaming at it. Sure. 
the final edit is like sewing all the pieces together personally for me this is the bit that i look forward to the most because that's where all the creativity happens And another problem that I have with editing videos is that I put on a very serious face as if like someone hurt my feelings but don't worry, nobody hurt my feelings. I was just full, full on concentrated. Um, maybe my boss hurt my feelings a little bit once in a while, you know, when he comes over but that's okay. Um, my feelings are never hurt at work. Either way, usually after I do my final edit, I'll realize some clips are shit or some clips are missing, so then I'll go back and film more. I didn't draw it. <laughs> do you know how many times you stuttered? I stuttered? Yeah! Fix it. I'm fixing. Like the amount of times you said, I'm disgusting. So I'm disgusting. My apartment is disgusting. <laughs> so I'm disgusting. My apartment is disgusting. My apartment is disgusting. So Just thank God for that, which <laughs> cannot. Look at it go. It's cleaning my nuts. You're not watching. <laughs> Do what you think is right. I will send it to them, and then if they say like we need to fix it, like you'll fix it. Okay. It actually has these rotating mop pad. You're welcome. And since the work for the day is done, I clocked out and headed to K-Town to have dinner with my boss and his crew members. And I don't know why he always invites me to have dinner on my crusty days. The days where I put in absolutely zero effort and then we go out in public and he gets recognized and I'm sitting there like... <laughs> And then moving on to Thursday. Thursday is another editing intensive day, so I showed up to work like a potato, but that is okay because, um, you know, I've got to work hard. I forgot to mention, I usually get into work around 12 p.m. If the YouTuber that you're working for has a sleep schedule that's equally as fucked as you, then it's great because you don't have to wake up early and you can show up around noon, which is pretty amazing. I look so terrible today. Excellent. But that is how we work at Jova Beach. Because looks don't matter, it's about talent. Really? Yes. Can I put something nice? <laughs> That's the nicest shirt you own. Really? <laughs> what the fuck? You took my fork. Is this your fork? Yeah. Look at that, um, yolk. I was going to Marquee once. Mmm. Or like a crypto event <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> yeah, I was walking. Wait, are you Jonah? And I was like, oh. And then this who? Just a random guy. No, I meant who asked. Oh, in the video? Yeah, the girl that I like. <laughs> are you like? Of course I'm in New York. Go, go, go. Wait, should I wait like five minutes? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's talk about audio mixing. This is a segment that I was unaware of before working for him. Um, if you watch my old videos, you know that the audio of my videos are so shit because I use my vlogging camera and you know, I speak really softly so I do most of the audio mixing in my post-production where I just like increase the volume and then it goes How's your shit? Oh my god. Shit. No! I don't even take shit. What the hell? Girls don't poop. So after we're done with the editing, my boss is DP, John, came to visit us again. No offense, but hanging out with them reminds me of hanging out with high school boys, but, but in a good way, kind of. It's just always a good time, basically, is what I'm saying. 
Another lazy afternoon. The clouds covered in gray. Third coffee of the day. Almost fell asleep on Zoom. I yawn at the display. Third meeting of the day. But I can hear raindrops tap dancing on the roof. It's like they're calling out. Don't lose your youth. This is um, cereal. I don't know what this bowl is supposed to be. I got this from like a junk store, but it works for me as a cereal bowl. And honestly, once I started cooking, I realized all I wanted was just cereal. So this is my summer salad. And this is my special dish, which is like soy sauce, lemon chicken, and stuff like that. I don't even know. Tomato? Can't be bad. Oh, delicious. Okay, cool. Carrots? Mm, also delicious, but you know, it's carrots. So how was your weekend? Are you having fun? My friend does. Because I sure am. Mmm! Whoa! This is good. Yeah. Wow. Whoa! To stay on top of my new tree and inside oh may today just a little less monday no if it's inside in take a win side oh take today oh doesn't it the rain as you guys know i also run my own channel so when i'm not working for a youtuber editing his video i am usually editing my own video so yeah that's just what i'm gonna do for the rest of my afternoon Sheesh. One good thing about work is that Every once in a while I would take breaks or at least Joma would remind me to take breaks um, And stuff like that, but when I work by myself, I kind of forget to take breaks So then all of a sudden I'll be like, oh my god, why is my eye so tired? So I edit usually in Final Cut Pro first for like the timeline and everything so it's like a roll cut and then I install it to a different application where I do all the graphics, sound effects, music, yada 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 um, but nowadays I just had to use Premiere Pro because apparently that's a more sophisticated editing tool um, and also I have to use Premiere Pro for all Joma's videos and then I realized the stuff that I make is nowhere as complex as uh, what a real filmmaker makes so I think I'm just gonna go back with Final Cut because it's so much faster for me to edit. Right now I'm editing my apartment tour video. Hopefully I get my own video out of the way so I stop worrying about it and then I will give all my attention to Joma and his videos. Cheers. I was experiencing diminishing marginal return where the more hours I put into the work, the worse the quality is and the more crazy I get, so I decided to leave my apartment. I moved to a lounge and edited more of my videos and in the middle of my video editing process, my boss Joma actually called me to help him with a video. <laughs> As I mentioned, Sundays are our filming days and this week we decided to film a mukbang which is a lot easier to film than the other vlogs that we do which usually takes sometimes more than a day to film. Um, in this case, we just went to a nearby restaurant, picked up some food that we were craving, ran into a viewer, said hi, picked up our food, went back to the apartment and started setting up the cameras to film the video. The video took a little over an hour to film and then I just imported everything to the computer and worked a little bit on it before getting off work. And at this point of the video, you probably think I have the best job in the world 
But you know, just like every single job, there's a good side, there's the bad side, there's the glamorous side, and there's the ugly side. Before I got off work that day, I actually had a little heart to heart with my boss regarding the comments, regarding my future creation on YouTube. I want, I want what the audience. Wants. What do you? All I just want is high quality. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you it's like know extremely that, right? funny stuff, you know what I mean? But you don't know that. Get out well, of here's the thing, there's sometimes there are things that you do that is objectively better. More planning is always objectively better. Mm -hmm. More editing is always objectively better. Mm -hmm. Being a better performer is always objectively better. Mm -hmm. And how do you do that? You put in the work. So, you know, if I were you, what I would have done is like, oh, you want to do a video? Alright, fuck you, I'm just going to make an easy ass video. Right? For example, this video, like, you started doing it, but then you were the one that's like, oh shit, this is so Or like, you know, you need to also watch like Evelyn's videos. How does she do it? She doesn't have a filmer, right? And then, and then yeah, you kind of look at her and say, oh, okay, so she does that, you learn from that. Like, okay, when does she have like the big bulk of the thing? Yeah. Just kind of push through it. But like, what I value conflicting with what I'm scared of. You, you have like a huge audience, right? Mm. But for me, I was just like living like a really private life. Mm. My comments are just like, oh, marry Joma, or like, you guys are dating. Mm. I think that's what I'm most scared of. The only problem is that you take comments too seriously. You know? And it affects you too much. Yeah. And, you know, before I pivoted to comedy, yeah. people would always be like, what the fuck is this shit? Go back to like, you know, educational. If I listened to them, I wouldn't be here where I am today. Like, and first of all, the comments, it's always a minority, it's like a loud minority. Yeah. Right? No, sure Don't fucking true. look at the comments, just look at the views. <laughs> like, it kind of like, 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 hinders my creativity when it comes to that kind of thing. But I just don't want to be a burden. <laughs> like, if you feel like I'm too much, or if, I, if you feel like this is just not worth it, then like, Yeah, interning for a YouTuber has been amazing. A lot of laughters, a lot of creative challenges, and a lot of self-growth. It was basically everything that I loved and everything that I've wanted to try all at once. But there are also a lot of conflict, a lot of, a lot of self-doubt, a lot of trouble, a lot of confusion, a lot of contemplation, a lot of disappointment, a lot, a lot. So later on that week, I got really, really sick. I actually caught a fever. The video that I was supposed to post that week was already running late and because of my sickness, we have to postpone it even further and that's when I felt really bad. Because growing up, I've always viewed everything as a task and every task as a competition. I grew up with two siblings and I always strive to be the best kid. At school, I always want to be the star student and even in my past internship, I'm that one kid who overachieves just so she can impress her manager. But this time around, it's completely different. There's absolutely no one to compete with other than my past self. And as cliche as that sounds, it's actually the hardest task I've ever taken part in because for the first time, I have to listen to myself. I have to make executive decisions and own up to the decisions that I make. I think what is most valuable from this internship is that I learned a lot more about myself and how I work, what I'm good at, what I'm not, how I can improve upon it, and most, most, most importantly, how passionate I am about making videos or telling stories because I genuinely care about the narratives that I was painting out. That's why it takes me so long to make stylistic decisions, why it takes me so long to edit because I care. And I'm really grateful for my boss Joma, who has been super patient and accommodating along the way. So thank you. And no, there is no punchline. There is no joke. Don't worry. This is just, just a purely wholesome ending. So yeah, that is it. A week in the life and turning for a YouTuber. And if you're curious on how I got this internship, then stay tuned because I might make a video on it or I might include it in my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and I hope you will also find your passion very, very soon and work hard towards it.
Thank you.